Hey everybody, welcome back to Nerd News Today. I'm Matthew, and on this episode, we've got another gentle giant Star Wars statue to take a look at, and this one is super duper limited. So chances are, a lot of folks are probably on the fence about this one because it is gonna be more expensive due to those limited numbers, but it might be worth it. So here's your chance to get a sneak peek before you make your purchase. And the piece we're talking about today is from Star Wars. This is the very limited edition Biggs Dark Lighter Half Scale Bust. This statue is limited to a mere 500 pieces. For the most part in this channel, we looked at things that have been as limited as about 3,000, sometimes 5,000, and on occasion, I've had some that are like, I think 1,000, but never 500. So this guy here, he might be a little bit harder to get for a number of reasons. And that also might be not just because of the limited nature of it, but based on my initial glances here, it looks pretty cool. Big Dark Lighter first appeared in Star Wars A New Hope in a deleted scene, although he did show up a little bit later on towards the end of the film, but initially he was meant to have a more pivotal role, quote unquote pivotal, in how the events of A New Hope unfolded. And the interesting thing about this piece is it's essentially going to be two pieces in one. I'll explain as we take a look at the packaging here. So the packaging, like all gentle giant pieces, is frankly pretty darn simple. Not a lot of frills. It's generally speaking for Star Wars, always just a plain black box with nothing else on it design-wise and big images of what the statue is going to look like once you crack it open. So you can see on the front here we've got our big star collider and if we turn it to one side you'll see him again from a profile angle and likewise on this opposite side we've got him again but you're going to notice something's a little bit different about this Biggs and this Biggs is suddenly wearing a helmet but in the image on the front he's not so what's up with that? Well we turn to the back again, you'll see now another photo of Biggs wearing a helmet completely. So this is going to be two pieces in one. We got some interchangeable parts to play with today. Now right below that big photo, we have a short little bio about who Biggs Dark Lighter is in case you don't know. I already kind of gave you the cliff notes. That's really more than enough you need to know about the character. It also lets us know once again that this is limited to 500 pieces. There's going to be a certificate of authenticity inside here as well to remind you of that fact. But one thing that's missing from these resin pieces is credits to the artists. And that's something that Diamond Select does with their PVC statues. But Gentle Giant does not do that for the most part with their resin pieces. I've never understood why. It's something that is sorely missed, at least for me, because I really want to give credit where credit is due. And the folks that make these pieces do such a wonderful job on them too. So really, uh, in this case here, whoever made this, hats off to you. May the force be with you. But with that said, I think that's enough talking about the packaging here. So let's go ahead and get our big Stark Lighter out of the box and take a closer look at him from all angles. All right, and we're back, and I'm about to open this piece here, but I'm going to do something that I don't normally do on camera as much anymore. I, I used to do this a lot more often, but I've stopped because really it's just a pain in the butt. But what I wanted to show you guys right now is the styrofoam container for this big Dark Lighter, and the reason being is because the way it's packaged is kind of interesting. So I wanted to show you guys and do a proper unboxing and opening. So here we go. Fingers crossed that nothing falls out of him, but there you go, folks. So some assembly is most definitely required here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put some of this together and we'll start taking a look proper at our big Star Collider piece. All right, so we have our body here. Let's go ahead and start assembly now. And I'm going to start, I think, with him wearing his helmet full on. So this is going to go over here. And uh, just so you guys can clearly see what's happening, all the limbs have magnets on them. So this is all going to just simply go in there. And you saw how it kind of got sucked in. That's thanks to the power of magnets. Now here comes the head. You can see again, a better closer look of the magnet. So pop it on in and it is in place and it's actually fairly sturdy. You can see it, it's, uh, it does slip away a little bit, but and I wouldn't recommend you do that on camera, but I do want to show you guys, just generally speaking, the strength of how those magnets function because they're pretty tight in there. It's not necessarily the same as like a full on joint, but hey, I'll take it. It's not bad. And that is our big dark lighter revealed. And this is him now head to toe dressed up in his pilot gear. And this is looking good, man. I, I've always enjoyed like the pilot outfits that they wore in the Star Wars films. Something about them. I don't know. It was like one part utilitarian and one part just really cool looking sign of the times. Because, I mean, I, I guess you'd wear these colors back then, but it was just so bright also. And that was kind of a nice thing, you know, because think about jet fighters, that kind of thing in the U.S. Army, for example, or the U.S. Air Force. And they're wearing green for the most part, green or other darker colors. But all the pilots in Star Wars, they're wearing like orange, red, green. All sorts of colors that really, really pop. And not only that too, I've always dug like this sort of armor piece that they're wearing on them with their control panel on the other side. I always thought the helmets were really cool too. I mean, one of these days, I'd love to get a replica X-Wing pilot helmet. I think that's just such a cool look as well. But that's just me kind of rambling about my love of Star Wars. As for the piece here, I mean, this thing is really great. I mean, man, it's a pity this is limited to only 500 pieces because I think a lot of folks are gonna be missing out on this one here. This is a gorgeous looking statue. So let's spend a little bit more time now with the piece and uh, we'll just start once again from the base, work our way up and just give you guys a nice quick look at everything here from this front side view of Biggs. 
And let's start by talking about the likeness here, at the very least with this helmet to start things off. And does this look like Big's Dark Lighter? And yeah, I'd say definitely. This is uh, an excellent head sculpt here, really from every angle. I mean, this thing looks very much just like him. I really like how the, the mustache is painted also. Mustaches and beards are generally in toys the kind of thing that are fairly difficult to get correct. And they can often look just really big and bulky and just absolutely incorrect and wrong. But this time I like what they did with it. I like some of the subtleties that are in this as well. So they did a nice job on that mustache. And uh, you know, I'll bring them a little bit closer to able to get some of the reflection out of his face. But uh, you can see what I'm talking about here. Just like really nice work on the eyes as well. Just from every angle, this looks really cool. And that helmet too is just amazing. Uh, I wish I understood what the patterns all meant. I feel like those are just, you know, personalizations that the, the pilots did by themselves, but they're they're really just fun looking. And that helmet too, it's so weathered and beat up in the best way possible. That's how you want this thing to look. You want it to look like it's dirty and in the middle of a war. And uh, they, they nailed it in so much detail. So, you know, besides the weathered paint job, it's on the thing to make it look not just, you know, pristine white. It is a very kind of off-white that appears like it's been in battle. Uh, they've just put so much other detail and, and design work into it based on how he appeared in Star Wars A New Hope. And I really appreciate that level of detail, especially top of his head too, same thing. You know, it's it's all in there, all the little bits and pieces for Biggs, they're there. Uh, also got a little communicator piece jutting out of the helmet there. So really nice work. And uh, you know, we'll get a better look at his face in a little bit once we swap the heads out. And uh, do you want to spend a little more time again with that body and the arms they mentioned, the current arms that aren't him. So, these are his piloting arms. They're wearing his gloves. They have some of his tools over here on his left arm. Nicely painted silver. Yeah, I like also the way it really does look like fabric. I mean, this really does feel like I'm looking at a piece of fabric on a, on a person. Mind you, the joints, you can clearly see them here. It's not like they're that well hidden. But for the most part, if you've bought a statue anyway, chances are if it's like in this price point, they're going to have some exposed limbs typically. Um, but that's, that's a conversation for a different day. Uh, what I really enjoy is all these little buttons and switches and the tube that he's got there. You know, all these little odds and ends that I never understood as a kid and I've never bothered to look into as an adult. But uh, it's, it looks very nice. And you know, in, in contrast as well to like his armor that's got more weathering effects and painted really nicely. You know, again, it's not just solid white, it's got weathering, it's seen some action. It's been worn a bunch of times. You gotta love that attention to detail because they put that detail into the movie. So heck yeah, Gentle Giant's gonna put it into their statue. And you know, this gray piece here, it's kind of funny against the orange, you know, it really kind of needs some, some of this sort of gray tone to help center the piece a little bit more. And that's what it's absolutely doing here. It's doing a great job of just like keeping your eyes from being hurt too much by this incredibly bright orange. So very well balanced. And uh, we'll show you guys the back as well, just so you get a look how that's gonna be looking. And uh, well, not as exciting as the front, but at least you guys can see it now. Now you know what you're getting into when you got this piece here and there's the back of his helmet one more time. So really nice already. You know, I'm really digging this piece. If it was just like this alone, I think I'd be fairly happy with it. I'd be pretty content. But Gentle Giant was like, nah, we're not content with this. We're gonna give you guys more. So let's do some part swapping right now and take a look at how our big star collider looks with his other pieces. And there is our bigs now all assembled. And uh, I don't wanna go too much further now also without reminding you guys that this big does come with a certificate of authenticity. It comes in the form of this sort of like trading card here. And it's got a picture of the statue on the front and on the back. You can see the number that we have for the piece. My guy is a very high number. So, I mean, for folks who care about those sort of things, there you go. Uh, but once again, a reminder, only 500 of these guys. And I'm only mentioning that because I haven't said it already at least a dozen times in this video. So let's do another rotation right now just to give you guys a 360 degree look at this edition of Biggs. Uh, so again, the difference here is that this is him essentially walking up to the X-Wing to pilot it. This is him pre-final battle of Yavin. So it's basically him like, I think, running into Luke, just being like, hey, good to see you again, buddy. We're about to go die now, yay. Uh, but again, just nice job, you know. Um, the fabric, I, I still love how the fabric looks. No matter which arms are on, it looks like accurate. So they did a really great job of making sure to get all those little nuances in the clothing to match up to the way the body's gonna be shaped along with those different arms. And it's also just exciting again to see that helmet piece. Uh, Cause man, that helmet is just so cool. There's really nothing bad about that helmet. And uh, the face this time, now we're gonna get a better look at it. So in fact, let's pause this right here and let's zoom into that Biggs face 
And uh, yeah, once again, this absolutely looks like him. So the actor that played him was named Garrick Hagen. And uh, as far as likeness goes, I mean, this is, man, it's so much better now, you know, compared to like what we're just looking at over here with the helmeted head, which is excellent. And I love the way that that helmet looks on him as well. But now that we got a better look at what the face is like, I mean, this is really spot on. This is an excellent version of his head. I love the detail that's in his nose, the mustache, the paint job on his eyebrows. And I should add also the paint job on his eyes are equally stunning as well. Uh, great job with that. The hair texture is wonderful. It feels and looks like real hair. I, I like how that looks. You can see too, it's reflecting really nicely. And that's kudos to the painters on this piece to make sure they got all of those details in there. Uh, you know, his ears are kind of nice too, actually, but that's a weird thing to say, but it's true. Uh, there's the back of the head too, so you can see what that looks like. So again, for the most part here, it's, you know, I have nothing to complain about. I really don't. <laughs> it's making this review way easier for me than I was anticipating. And I'm fine with that, you guys. It means I get an earlier day with this vid. But yeah, no, the cheekbone structure is great. I mean, the paint job, very nice. This is some like Hot Toys quality painting, I'd say. I mean, yeah, we're missing all the poor detail. That would have upped this price by a whole ton more. But it's pretty good. This is like, you know, if this was an action figure, I'd pay 200 bucks for it. I'd be down for that. And I'll just give you a closer look at his helmet as well here. This is the helmet in his hands. You can see again, some more of the detail we couldn't see in the other gloved hand because you know, here's the gloved hand and basically it was covering up this section here. So we didn't get to see all those little doohickeys there. We got a better look at some more of the detail on the helmet, so such a cool piece. And then on the other side, we have him actually holding the gloves. So there you go. This time he's actually just ready to go holding them, walking off into battle. And I like how the gloves are also kind of a different sort of, you know, paint job than the rest of him. And I like how the gloves are like a different paint job also compared to like the rest of the piece. Because the gloves need to be leathery and this flight suit needs to be a different material also. So they, they definitely nail that with the different paints that they're using to make this piece. Now let's also spend some time on the base here. And there really isn't a ton of things to say about it because the bases uh, are always the same. That's basically this hockey puck because Star Wars and hockey, they go together. You know, if you didn't know that Star Wars and hockey, they're like twins. So yeah, all the pieces share this exact same thing. They're uniform across the board. If you're a collector that cares about that sort of thing, that's really why they do it, just to keep it nice and, and easy and uniform. And a reminder that the bottom of the piece also includes that limited edition number and other information related to the statue. And you also have some rubber stoppers to help keep him in place. So overall, Big's Dark Lighter is another real standout piece. And yeah, I, I will admit, I think it's a shame that there's only gonna be 500 of him available because I, I wish more people could get him. It's a really good piece. I like that they do in the pilots. I think the pilots always look great to me uh, and I'm happy that I got this guy for myself. Now, if you're curious how much this guy is, the good news is he's only gonna set you back 120 bucks. And I think that's a very fair price for what you're getting here. Keep in mind, this is a solid resin piece with interchangeable limbs. You've got alternate heads here. Uh, it's hard to pull out with one hand because that magnet is pretty strong. But yeah, there you go, interchangeable limbs. The alternate head sculpts alone are worth it. So for 120 bucks, a resin piece of this caliber, yeah, it's totally worth it. I, I really can't say any bad things about it and I haven't had any bad things to say about it. So that's pretty much, I think, all I gotta say. But I'd love to hear what you have to say about this big Star Collider piece. So let me know in the comments if you think he's worth the price and if you're gonna pick him up. And more importantly, who do you wanna see Gentle Giant tackle next from the Star Wars universe? So that's our look at the Biggs Dark Lighter 1-6 scale mini bust from Gentle Giant. And here's the floating helmeted head of Biggs just hang out next to him. Oh, ooh, the force goes to, yeah, whatever, okay. So yeah, that's our look at him. Uh, highly recommend him. So until next time, I'm Matthew. This has been Nerd News Today. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you.